Rock Kabatko, Mass and Insider, joins us. And man, yeah. means can't catch a break, Rock. He really can't. And you knew something was wrong yesterday. You know, it was flexing the arm a little bit. The velocity was down, not just a tick. It was down quite a bit across the board. And he saw the pitching coach, Drew French, talk to him when he came in the dugout at the end. All bad signs. Albert Suarez starts warming in the bullpen despite means with three scoreless. Also a bad sign. So he is back in Baltimore right now. And, you know, it's a little confusing. It's a left forearm strain, which is what they called it when he was on the IL to start this year. But the discomfort is more in the elbow. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I'm sure that makes total sense. Forearm strain, you feel it in the elbow. You know, best case scenario, you hope that it's, you know, a little shutdown period. He comes back, starts throwing again, everything's fine. But they don't know yet. They're waiting for the results back in Baltimore. And in the meantime, everything's on hold. Remember when they talked about a six-man rotation? Yeah. Don't know what you can do now. Now, Cole Irvin could go ahead and replace Means in the rotation. He would take Monday's turn against the Red Sox, Camden Yards. He'd be on normal rest because he pitched yesterday. That's still five. Yeah. So how do you come up with six? We asked Brandon Hyde about that. You go you know, about six man, he goes, we don't know yet. We have to yeah. wait to get the results Too many first. moving pieces, right? Yes, and every time we talk about the excess of starters, unfortunately, something does happen that you don't want that seems to solve that, quote, problem. So now they're back to five. So they're going to have to figure out what they're going to do there. But until they get the results, we don't know what the timeline. We don't really know anything. It's just it's a very bad break for John. He obviously was very upset about it yesterday. Yeah. Teammates are upset they know how hard he's worked to come back. So it's fingers crossed right now. You covered this team for a long time where maybe you could get to three when you're going down the starting pitching, and then it was, uh, oh, I'm right. not sure about four and five. The good news is they've developed some depth at that location. You don't want to lose means, obviously, but right. there are some guys that can handle the job. They do. Right? They have a couple guys in AAA, too, including Kate Povich. who's one of the best yes. pitchers in AAA, but I don't think they're ready right now to make that move or with Chase McDermott. They feel like they still have enough guys in the major league level. But the problem is they wanted to go to six man. They're playing 43 games in 45 days, whatever Satis made their oh. schedule here. Here. Crazy. One off day in June. So that's why they wanted to go with six. They did that, remember, later last year. They felt like that really helped them and got them in the postseason. So they're going to have to figure out if it's not means, who is that six person, or do they just mm -hmm. try and tough it out with five, which does give you the extra reliever, but it's a real burden on a rotation. And the, the good news in this bad news story is uh, Jonathan Heasley gets a, another chance to get to the show, and uh, we saw him with a five-inning outing, so I guess he's got a little Swiss Army knife working, right? right? stretched out. It was kind of a rare start for him. We were a little surprised. I think Norfolk is getting a little clever with the rotation. Tucker Davidson made a start as well. but So he's on a little bit short rest, but he is available tonight. He has only given up one run in 20 innings down there. As you heard him talk about, he's done some tweaking with the mechanics. It's easier to repeat his delivery. He's here right now for bulk innings. Could he be a starter down the road? I asked Brandon about that, and he goes, not right now. Maybe. We don't know. We don't even know how long he's going to be here. But they need those innings because Irvin pitched yesterday. Suarez, not ideal circumstances in St. Louis. I wasn't there, but I heard you got some rain. Right? Yeah, we got a little rain. It wasn't rock. ideal. <laughs> good so, good yeah. series to sit out, by the it way. It really was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he's here for now, and he is pitching very well. Had that rough stretch when he was here. He made three appearances, six earned runs, four and a third. He feel like he's made some good adjustments. So he's a guy that, at least if nothing else, he could give them some coverage in that bullpen. And I know Danny Kulo is thrilled to have him. They're very close friends. Good. But yeah. he's also sad that Mike Bauman's gone, and he's upset about John Means, but he is happy to have Heasley back. So. Uh, the yin and the yang of being a, right. a baseball player. There, there's another name here. He's not going to factor in now, but Tyler Wells, obviously, yep. has started. He's a good arm for the bullpen. A any updates on him? Finally, yes. A minor one, but that also feels kind of major because he is playing catch. I felt bad. We've asked Brandon how many times. Anything new on Wells? And he says, no, he's, he's still just shut down rehabbing. Probably 10 to 12 times. Ask him the day. They actually did have an update. A good sign that he's been cleared this week to play catch. He hasn't pitched since April 12th. He only made three starts. And maybe there's probably still a bit of a, a ways to go here because he's got to build up a throwing program to where eventually he's facing hitters, uh, halves to go in a rehab assignment, whatever. The good news, though, is at least that he's throwing. He's not shut down again. That's a guy that really would have come in handy here. Whether it was helping the back end of the bullpen when Craig Kimbrell was struggling or if we're talking about a six-man rotation, you could have used Tyler Wells. Swiss Army knife. Yeah. And he's not here. He's still in Sarasota. But that was a positive development that at least he has picked up a baseball and started throwing. Because that was a very extended shutdown with the inflammation in the elbow. And you kind of worry about, well, what's that all about? He didn't think it was that serious when we talked to him. I believe it was Kansas City. And here we are still waiting. So.
good news on him at least. For you, any concerns after the St. Louis series where the bats were kind of quiet, or is it just kind of the roller coaster ride of a season? Because this looks like a pretty good offense when you look at them one through nine most right. nights. And it is a roller coaster. We'd be talking about a lot of different things that have a different vibe if that catch isn't made in right field yesterday. Yes. Which probably, I'm going to say eight times out of ten, isn't made, and Mullins doesn't get doubled off. I think he lost the ball. That was a little bit quirky as well, but not to jinx it. This is the right opponent to get healthy with because the White Sox pitching's probably okay. They don't score runs. Yeah. They have the worst record in baseball. They score the fewest runs. Now, I say that they'll get a dozen tonight because I jinxed it. But this would be the right opponent right now, they're, and they're certainly catching them at the right time to bounce back. But it's a four-game series. Anything could happen. But, you know, it's just weird how the bats, this happens. You know, yeah. guys get cold collectively. There's only obviously a few exceptions. Then all of a sudden they erupt. They had, what, 11 runs, I think, in Cincinnati, and then all of a sudden struggling again to score runs. It's just it's it's a wave. It's up and down. Two things to uh, make it, you know, you never take any series for granted. White Sox have won three of their last four series here at home. And I looked at the Orioles record today, broke it down. They are so good against teams above 500. Teams below 500, they're right around 500. So they're kind of playing to the level of the opposition, right? They cannot play down. But you know what? They always say like the momentum's the next day starting pitcher. Anything, whatever's happening, Grayson goes out and shoves tonight. Everything's fine. And you, you'd like to think at least the way things have been trending so far, you don't have to provide a lot of offensive support because the White Sox are struggling so much. All right, Rock, thanks for stopping by.